What is good, y'all? Wow, it's been a minute. It feels really good to be back. Um, it feels really, really good. I'm so excited, smiling from ear to ear. Um, man, it's been crazy, you know? I've been super busy, and that's why I haven't been able to like put out these videos. Um, but it's also like been an awesome blessing as well, you know? Um, so I can't complain, but I just wanted to hop on real quick and say that, you know, I've been really missing it and, you know, I've got a little bit of a break now, just a tiny bit of a break. And I thought I'd try and do at least a couple videos before the end of the year. We'll see. Um, but first one here, I just want to show you guys what's in my mouthpiece bag. Yeah, I got a pretty one. I got a red one. It's nice. It's Protec. Um, Protec is whatever, but uh, this mouthpiece case is nice from them. And I just want to show you guys because I have changed up my mouthpiece game uh, probably since the last time you know I did a YouTube video, um, and I love it. Um, I was you know preparing for this. Um, audition for this school job and by the way y'all uh, congratulations to me cheers because I am now teaching at University of the Pacific in Stockton Stockton California um, so I definitely want to take a quick moment and I'll do probably do another video on this but I want to you know if you're a high school student a senior UOP will be a great place to study, especially if you want to study with me and you know what I'm about. I would definitely consider applying there. There are audition dates in January and February. So get on it, apply, come study with me at the University of the Pacific. I would love to have you. I'd love to see your audition. So I'll probably put out another video about that soon. But yeah, when I was trying to prep and, you know, prepare for that job, um, I hit up my friend Jerome and I was like, Hey man, like man, prof professor mouthpiece or prof mouthpieces. I was like, I love what they do. I love the sound um, that I'm hearing other people play. And I was just like, Hey, you know, this is the kind of mouthpiece I was playing on for years. Uh, I'll show you guys. I was playing on, uh, Helleberg, uh, uh a con Helleberg. And it was customized for me, which was great. And I love that thing. It was awesome. It worked for me. I know it's like the most basic mouthpiece ever, but like, like they say, like, I'm not going to try and fix what's not broken. Um, but that mouthpiece had become super old and like thinning. And I just was like, you know, it's about time. It's about time. So I reached out to Jerome and I was like, Hey man, this is what I used to play on. This is what I'm playing on now. I'm looking for something for my concert horn, my C tuba, which is a big horn. And I'm also looking for something for sousaphone because I play a lot of sousaphone as you guys know. Um, so I wanted to have two separate mouthpieces because you know, a lot of people hit me up on DMs and like, how can I play louder in sousaphone and things like that. And I'm like, man, like I think having a solid mouthpiece for that, for that horn, for that specific horn is gonna take you a long way. And then they're just practicing, like, you know, keep on practicing your loud playing and your quiet playing, you know, but it's, it's about getting out there and doing it and, and being out there and trying to cover that space. I mean, there's no other way to do it. And of course, like the biggest issue is tone. You know, everyone's just kind of like, why tone, why tone? But yeah, you're not gonna be able to project if you're not having good tone. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work that way. Um, but the mouthpieces definitely help. So long story short, I want to show you guys what's in my bag. Um, I'm gonna just open it up right now. Let's see. So I actually got, so the cool thing about um, Prof Mouthpiece is that he actually sent me out four choices. So I got two choices to try out for like a couple weeks. You know, I didn't even have to buy anything like at those two weeks. It was just like, hey, I trust you. If you um, like something, just let me know, ship back the rest. It was super easy, super chill. And I love that because I love when there's like, you know, we're a community and I love that we're at this, a sense of community when it comes to these things. So I wanna show you guys my sousaphone mouthpiece. Here it is. I'll make some close up But it's the Robert Tucci Sousa Power 4. Jerome just told me that Sousa Power 5 is coming out and I'm super psyched. So can y'all see that? Can we zoom in? Get a little bit crispy on there yeah yeah so there we go so the power four and i really love this thing man it's like 
there's some weight to it, you know? Um, and whenever I, I've been playing, I've been playing on this since I want to say, hmm, I want to say I've been playing on this since July-ish, you know? Um, so I've been playing on it for several months now and it feels great. Uh, I feel like the weight is great for that super phone just to ground it. You know, when like your bits are like moving around, I feel like it just adds some weight to it. But I feel like the power in this for me and blasting is cutting cross is totally different. When I was playing on my um, Con Helleberg, I would notice whenever I put my sousaphone cover on, I felt like I just couldn't get through it. I don't know if you guys have had that experience with sousaphone covers, but I have. And as soon as I start using this mouthpiece, the sousaphone co covers weren't like, I felt like I was playing without a, a horn cover on, uh, a sousaphone cover on. I just felt like I was just like cutting through, no worries. I didn't have to overblow. Um, this was just, this has just been really remarkable for me. So, you know, if you're interested, I would say try it out. Why not, right? You definitely can. So, and that's a sousaphone mouthpiece. Now, um, my concert horn, my concert horn mouthpiece, check it out. The concert horn mouthpiece is Robert Tucci RT44. Now, this works for me. It has a little bit of a wider rim, which I like, it's comfortable for me. Um, and it has that, you know, kind of beefy warm tone, which I'm looking for. I mean, that's just my style um, and that's just my brand, but this is what I found after other the couple options that he gave me. I forget what it was, what the number was, but I settled on 44, RT44. This just worked for me and all the registers sounded great. I was able to do everything plus more um, than I was before. And it just feels really nice. Like, look, I'm not a big mouthpiece buff, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like sit here and tell you, oh, this and that and this. I'm just gonna tell you how it feels, you know? I'm all about feeling. I'm all about, can I trust it to do what I need it to do? And like, downright, these mouthpieces do that for me. And I'm telling you, I haven't changed mouthpieces for years. And this is, these are the ones that I settled on. So, I mean, it says a lot because for me, I'm going off of my performance, how it makes me feel, uh, endurance, um, whether or not it can get me through the ranges and a long, a long day or a long rehearsal or a long performance, running through the streets with a sousaphone. That's what I think about when I'm thinking about mouth pieces. And does it translate exactly what I want to translate musically? And it does all of those things. So I just want to shout out uh, Professor Mouthpieces, Prof Mouthpieces, because they've been good to me, and I think they can be good to y'all. So here is a little bit of an update, y'all. What's in my mouthpiece case? Um, it's so great to be back again. Um, like I said, I've been extremely busy. If you want to know what I've been up to, uh, check out my website, tubafresh.com. Um, there's a few things uh, in the works that I'm really excited about, and you know, I can't wait to share it. Uh, I really hope to kind of carve out some time to do more videos. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys my little half studio here. What's on my desk? What instruments do I have? Like, you know, I, I have a lot of other things outside of horns. So I kind of want to dive deep and maybe do a two part video where I show you guys my synthesizers, uh, my horns, uh, what's on my desk, what's in my drawers, you know, everything. I th I'm thinking about doing that before the new year, so we'll see. Um, but it's great to be back, y'all. Um, peace and love. And remember, we're a community. We got to stick together. Bye. Bing bong.